Hi guys, I'm Douglas again. I hope you're doing fine. And uh, today I'll show you a drawing I have almost concluded here. Uh, in fact, I think it's concluded, but I always find something to still working on. But anyway, the, the point of this video, uh, I will talk about textures. So, the idea is that when you are drawing realistic, we have to observe on a reference picture different textures and if you work on these aspects that will change a lot your drawings because it really makes you feel that the drawing is realistic when you see different aspects okay so one example here is that the books, the the bookshelf, it's behind Alfie Solomon. Uh, by the way, this is Alfie Solomon from Peaky Blinder series. I already have two videos, previous videos about it. One of them uh, is just a time lapse about this area, how I developed this area, and the other one is about uh, how to work on clothes textures and how I did all this work here so I have a demonstration a tutorial about that and now I will point some textures we can find here to make it really great okay so as I was saying the uh, books are behind him and it's a bit blurry yeah? the camera is focusing on his face mainly and the, the, the body and behind it it's blur okay it's out of focus so I use here the, the blending stump not to make it some uh, textures in order to, to, to have this idea of blurry, okay? And here, we also start with some textures. So, the beard, we have nice hair working here. Okay, I'll try to put some pictures later, so it's not simple to show here in details but anyway uh, the other aspect I want to show you is the dark areas here you see how dark it is and uh, I use a specific technique for that not only a specific pencil but a specific technique for that to keep this very consistent black okay and also here we have these metal parts these rings they are all shiny so this is metal it's another texture okay uh, here again this is a jewelry i don't know what jewelry it is but it's shining, yeah? you see it's shining. Also here, the ring is shining. Yeah? And you see the pole, this is a reflection. Yeah? This pole is all black, but there is a reflection here. That's why you see some areas in white, some light areas. Yeah? And finally, the suit. Yeah, the suit has an amazing texture where I worked with just uh, the, the, the black pencil, the black uh, graphite and carbon pencil. You see? But also, we have a lot of texture here.
So, just to let you know, uh, all these textures I'm referring here is part of my course book, How to Draw Textures. And this course book is available on Amazon, uh, hardcover and paperback. And uh, you can find a lot of different textures. Uh, Metal, reflections, water, hair, um, how to draw wrinkles, and a, a lot of them, you can check it later. But I'd like to mainly point this aspect of the realistic drawing. You, as soon as possible you start to draw, you should you work on textures, okay? And uh, you could practice on a separate sheet of paper uh, a specific texture and then you apply on the drawing or you just uh, practice over the drawings you are uh, having fun okay but as soon as you have the observation to identify different textures different materials and try to reproduce them how it should be in real life that will be a game change for you okay you really start improving when you focus on texture okay so I put the link on the card in the final uh, the other videos to show you the time lapse and how to draw the clothes and uh, I hope you like that and I see you on the next video bye bye